Hello everyone. Oh my goodness, I did it again. Forgot to light the god dang candle. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dina Case, Casey Nicole, and I'm back again with the shenanigans. And today I am here with your career quickie message. They haven't been very quick lately. It's supposed to be a quickie. Okay. It's supposed to be a little hit it and quit it. Okay. <laughs> But let's go ahead and see what's going on for my CEOs, okay? I don't know what the fuck was going on with y'all who work in like nine to fives. I feel like everybody ready to quit their motherfucking job. I'm about to change up how I even do these readings because that shit right there was blowing me. So I don't know if you watched that one yet or if you have a nine to five and a business. But mm-mm. Folks are going to quit their motherfucking job. So, congratulations on your business. If you are a business owner, if you make your own merchandise, have your own products, do your own channel, have your own website, whatever it is that you do, kudos to you, okay? Just saw 111 on the clock. Let's go ahead and get this started. Remember, the messages are general. Like I said, they may not be for every business owner out there. So, be sure to go with what you know. And remember that time is fluid. It moves like water. This could be past, present, or future energy. Be sure to check out um, the Career Quickie playlist so that you can see any other titles that may be interesting to you. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into it, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Father God. What is going on with my business owners? How do my CEOs feel about their business? How are they feeling about overall what their business is doing? I feel like my hands are cramping up, bro. I feel like you got, I really feel like my hands are cramping up. Like, even as I was preparing to do this reading, like, earlier today, like, if I have, let me, I'm going to just explain it to y'all. And if anybody don't like me explaining it, then go and get the fuck off my channel. When I do a reading, right, I, I, I meditate on, like, if I know I'm going to do a career reading today, I will meditate on the read. I'm like, think, not, not intentionally, but I'm just thinking and y'all know I'm very intuitive when it comes to these cards. So it's like anything that, like, I'm a mirror. I'm literally the Zodiac mirror. I am a Pisces, but I am a mirror. So it's like whenever I get in a mindset that I'm about to do a reading, it's like, boom, that shit goes off, right? Like, I start feeling those energies from you guys and what y'all are feeling in my body already. So it's like my hands have been stiff all day. I don't know. I've been feeling really cold. Like joint movement is constricted. Y'all see I cut the nails off because I'm going to let y'all know. I'm really trying to like do a nail detox because I'm kind of tired of it. And I really want to save my coins. So it might be some regular nails going on. It might be some press on nails going on, you know, but we're going to make it do what it do. I feel like the glitter makes it look pretty cute, right? But I'm just saying as an example, like I was clipping, I was clipping the rest of them off because two of them already had broke. And I'm like, damn, my fingers just feel stiff. Like, I don't know what's going on. I feel like you guys are working yourselves really hard for me to say that. I feel like you guys may be working yourself to the bone. That's what I heard as well. So I just feel like, you know, make sure that you guys are taking care of your bodies. Make sure that you guys are keeping yourselves healthy. Make sure you guys are getting enough rest. Okay. I felt like I needed to say that. Yep. Yep. All right, come on through. Come on, God, let's go on through. Okay, Guardian Angels, how do my collective who are CEOs feel about their business on a spiritual level? Paradox. Oh, damn, you got two, two. Two, two. <laughs> you got two just like the um, Corporate America edition. So it says Paradox, wow, which I have never seen this card yet, but it looks really pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune. A paradox is something. I know what these words mean, but it's like every time I get on here, I can't remember. Paradox. I feel like it's two different things. It's leading me to like something like like two different options, two different um, situations, but we're going to read it. And you also got the pillar. Wow. So I feel like you guys are trying to find balance in your business, but... It's a paradox. Like something is contradictory, I feel. The sovereign is at the bottom and the outlaw is at the back. Ooh. So y'all are thinking about going against the grain. I feel like y'all are thinking about going against the grain. Or y'all are thinking about something that's not 
like orthodox. I just heard orthodox, like paradox. Maybe I'm just doing it because it sounds like that. But let's see. Like you're doing something that's very unorthodox. But let's read paradox first. It says, this card is a reminder that we can hold two extremes at the same time. See, I knew it was two different things. It's like a paradox. It's like sometimes you're one way, but sometimes you're the total. Damn, I just dropped the card. Y'all, sometimes it's like you're one way, but sometimes it's like you're the total opposite. I feel like you're a chameleon or something like that. Let me keep reading. Let me let me keep reading. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, nutcase. Okay. This card is a reminder that we can hold two extremes at the same time. Sometimes we focus on things, whether internal or external, and see them as one-sided. But to hold the paradox within us requires strength. To see our most brilliant qualities and our most ugly to acknowledge that they both live within us is a gateway to growth. Carl Jung said, the paradox is one of our most valuable spiritual possessions. And for anyone who does shadow work, they know this to be true. But this can also be difficult for many people. If we have been raised in a rigid environment where things are viewed as black and white, it may be hard for us to accept our flaws, let alone love them. Man, society these days. Okay. One of the best ways to slow... Slow, one of the best ways to slowly enter a relationship with our internal paradox is to remind ourselves that we did not create these things within us. We inherited them. It does not define us, and yet we are responsible for it. To work more deeply with paradox as you witness yourself throughout the day, identify what types of thoughts you have more of, positive or negative. From there, find the polar extreme. For example, maybe you thought, I am so fucking lazy. And that's what the book says. I love this fucking book. Y'all better listen to me read these cards. It says, you may have a thought that's, that is, I'm so fucking lazy. Acknowledge a couple things that make this true. Then find the polar opposite, i.e. hardworking, and acknowledge a few things or experiences that provide, that prove that you are hardworking. Somebody just rang my motherfucking doorbell, and I don't know who it is. Look, hold on, y'all. Somebody just rang my motherfucking doorbell. I get so tired of getting doorbell. All right. Collective. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Somebody just for real legit came and rang my motherfucking doorbell. I heard the motherfucking doorbell. And then nobody was out there. Nobody's outside. I swear. Let me tell you something. I don't know who that was. But I know folks better stop motherfucking playing with me. Okay? I know that. I know that. <laughs> I know folks better stop playing with me. Because I really don't know who the fuck that was. And I just that just made me mad. I don't like going downstairs when I'm upstairs. I'm up here. That's weird, though, ain't it? Who the fuck rang the damn doorbell? Well, nobody out there. I literally just heard it and ran down there. Wasn't nobody out there. Wasn't no car out there. Usually, like, when people come in the neighborhood trying to pass out pamphlets and shit, they, you know, they right across the street or somewhere where I can see them and be like, oh, I see who that was. Nobody was out there. Now, that could mean that you guys are going to get a visitor. Possibly. 
I mean, that could mean that somebody's trying to visit me, but I don't like people playing games with the duck. And it could have been some kids playing ding dong ditch. But I know one fucking thing. I have my protection and I pack heat, bitch, for protection. I ain't going out there killing nobody, but I swear if you step on my motherfucking property, I will blow your ass away. Okay? <laughs> okay? Because y'all got to understand, it's people who know me that watch me. I know they do. Either they watch because they want to watch or they watch because they fucking spying. But either way, I know the motherfuckers watching. So if anybody out there want to play games, come on. Come on, Cletus. Because I don't have no violence towards nobody and I don't promote violence. But I will show for show blow your ass away if you come up on my motherfucking property trying to try the hell out of me. Okay? Sorry for the interruption, CEOs and business owners. I apologize. Okay? But we were talking about the things that you see within yourself that are good and bad. So I feel like there are things about your business that you feel like are good and bad. There are benefits and there are also setbacks that you feel. Oh, excuse me. When it comes to your business and wow, that's crazy. Paradox was on page 103 and the pillar is right after that on page 104. I feel like you're trying to find balance. I feel like you guys, honestly, in your business, you're trying to find balance between the good and the bad things. And you're trying to make sure that you keep a positive attitude, even though sometimes you may feel negative. It says the pillar signifies a need to rise to the occasion. It indicates a time where we may need to be all things, the backbone, the nurturer, the provider, the lover. The pillar asks you to step into these roles as best as you can, knowing that you are being pushed outside of your comfort zone. You will learn just how capable you are. It It is a time where we take our gifts to new heights and learn that our perceived flaws are just that, perceived. If you have been resisting a new opportunity or role that has presented itself, it is time to step into it and trust that you will learn as you go. Wow. I feel like y'all are doing something new. Y'all are doing something new with the business or y'all are taking on the business full time and maybe it's not going to just be a side hobby anymore that it's going to be your full time income. Okay, it says this is also a time where our container grows. We learn just how much space we can hold for ourselves and for others. Continue to listen to yourself. Fill your own cup so that you can be there for others. But do not forget to push yourself. Balanced pillar energy is being able to wear many hats to hold space for family and community, but doing these things with empowered boundaries. It is placing your personal well-being and needs first, knowing that your service will be better because of it. Unbalanced pillars can go a couple ways. In an attempt to maintain all control, one can get... So y'all might be trying to control everything. So in an attempt to, to maintain all control, one can get domineering and manipulative. Okay, so y'all need to be careful of that, okay? On the other hand, they may find themselves becoming codependent where their identity gets wrapped up in the need to caretake others while forgetting about themselves. If you find yourself in the shadow of pillar, ask yourself, where can I soften? Where can I put up boundaries? What are my personal needs and how can I go about meeting those for myself? Now, I really don't know what the sovereign means because that's at the bottom of the deck. Hey, Siri. What does sovereign mean? As a noun, it means the supreme ruler, especially a monarch. <gasps> Do you want to hear the next one? No. And it also said acting independently. Now that bitch want to come to work today. You heard Siri respond back after she didn't want to come to work uh, on that live video. That stinking ass bitch. So you could be the sovereign, like you could, you're, I feel like you're the ruler. I feel like you're the boss. Of course, you're the CEO, right? But it also says the outlaw at the back. So I feel like you're the type of boss or you're the type of person who kind of, you know, sometimes may not want to play by the rules or you like to do things, you know, I don't know. I just feel like you like to do things your own way. Put it like that. I feel like you guys are definitely the type of people who like to switch it up, flip it up. Um, you don't like for it to be mundane. I feel like you like for your environment to be very, um, sometimes I would say unexpected, but not so much so unexpected in a negative way. I feel like you like to keep it interesting. 
Okay, you. I feel like you like to keep your products interesting or whatever it is that you're doing or selling. You like to have a good variety and you like to have, uh, that's a word I'm looking for and I can't find it. Hold on, let me shuffle. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe, especially if you're not already subscribed. Fuck with your girl. 15, 15 on the clock. You like to just have a variety, guys. I feel like you just like to keep it, uh, keep a variety. And you don't like things to come up that are unexpected and negative, but you also like to keep it, keep it fresh. Pretty much. Okay, so let's see what could be going on in your business. Because I think I'm going to kind of switch up how I do the readings. I really don't care, like, what other people are saying, to be honest with you. I'm just going to see how y'all are feeling. So what's going on with my collective CEOs? And business owners to see what is going on. Woo! Material growth. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Material growth. I feel like you guys are progressing when it comes to how much um, revenue you're getting. Oops, sorry. My chair moved the camera. Apologies. I feel like y'all definitely have some like updated revenue or upgraded revenue that's coming in. I feel like you have more people patronizing you. In your business, I feel like you're getting more customers coming in. Wow, son. So you could definitely be thinking about giving your business to your son. Or you're trying to build this empire because it's like you want generational wealth. That's what I'm getting as well. You want something to pass down to your children, whether you have a son or not. But I feel like a lot of y'all do have boys. Or you have a boy. What else? nature and new career so i feel like this new career comes natural to you that's the first thing that i got off the top of my head whatever this business is that you're doing whatever it is that you're creating whatever you're putting forth out into the universe i feel like it comes natural to you now it could be something that you're doing outdoors this could be something you could be doing like construction um landscaping lawn care um gardening like anything to do with nature and the natural habitat of things i feel like this is what you're doing but i feel like you're gaining more customers i feel like you're definitely deciding to make this like your long-term career okay wow at the bottom new direction and at the back false mask what is this new direction matrix deception theft what hold up Hold up. New direction, matrix, deception, theft, ascending, ruin, new love, relocation, birthday. Yeah, I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody is trying to deceive you. I feel like somebody is trying to make you feel like this new direction that you're going in with your business is not going to work like it's going to be negative i feel like someone's trying to steal your idea i would say be careful what you tell people that you're going to do like i'm getting this vibe you guys that someone you expressed your plans to or someone who knows about your business or what you're going to do feels like either you're making a dumb decision like y'all could honestly be connected to that um career quickie for the um corporate america because folks who's quitting they motherfucking job or thinking about it and I feel like maybe someone's trying to tell you that that's a bad idea, but I feel like it's an illusion. I feel like someone is trying to create confusion or illusions here. I feel like they're trying to cloak. I, I heard the word cloak. So somebody could be trying to hide something that they stole something from you or that they're trying to steal your ideas. But I see you ascending and I feel like as you're, it's like, you know, that you're moving to a higher level here. Um, collective, but I feel like somebody is trying to make you feel like it's not going to work out, okay? I don't know what the bullshit is about. You know what? I actually want to see what the bullshit is about. Matrix, deception, theft, ascending, and ruin. And I'm going to put a new direction right there. Okay? Because I want to see what the bullshit is about. But somebody's lying. Somebody's 
either not your friend when they're trying to act like they're your friend or somebody is really wanting to take what you got. I don't like this. I want to see what this is. Honey boo boo. Honey boo boo shoo shoo. I'm so corny, y'all. Don't worry about me. Corny as fuck. But I am who the fuck I am. So, I I don't like that because that's kind of what I was... I don't know. It seems like, you know, these readings be intertwined. But that's kind of what I was getting when it comes to, you know, the career quickie for, you know... I, I was getting a vibe on the career quickie for, for the Corporate America edition. People who work in the workforce for someone else. It's like you... I feel like your, your boss was trying to figure out when you were going to quit or it's like you were going through some type of family issue like maybe a divorce or issues with a child or something like that or relationship issues and it was like the boss and the co-worker were all up in the kool-aid and don't even know the motherfucking flavor they don't even know if it was any sugar in there and they drinking that, that shit i feel like someone was also laughing at you that's what i got in the scoop deck Someone was also laughing at you because of whatever business choices that you have made, like whatever idea that you wanted to do for your business. It's like they were sitting there at the job talking behind their back about how how um, horrible the idea is. But then it's like they were trying to steal it or I mean, that's what it kind of feels like here. But it's like they were talking about how horrible the idea was, but. Really, I just got a vibe from some like low life ass people who really just didn't have shit going for themselves. Let's see, what's this? What's this matrix card for my collective who own businesses? Rumors. See, that's what I'm trying to. T Somebody is spreading rumors. I feel like someone is trying to create an illusion about you. They're trying to talk down about your business. Um. Oop. Skeleton. So this could have definitely be going on for a long period of time. Okay, what else is the matrix? I feel like someone is saying that you have poor service or they're saying that you, you know, are a liar or something. It's like they're trying to like spread negativity. Like they could be putting bad reviews on Yelp or something. We got new view and relax. So I feel like you don't even see this shit because you on, you're on a higher level. I feel like somebody is trying to create illusions in your life or they're trying to tell lies about what your business got going on, but you don't even see that shit because you're on a totally different level. Yeah, and I feel like you already know this. We got astral travel at the bottom and angel numbers at the back. I feel like you already know this. Okay, you already know what they're saying. I feel like this could be people who are in competition with you as well. They're trying to make you look bad to make themselves look better. But then it's like they're lying so they because so that they can steal your ideas. So they know your ideas are good, but it's like they're trying to make you look like you ain't got your shit together to like your customers or somebody or your viewers. But really, they want to steal your ideas. Like it could be something like just say if you have like a platform, right? I use YouTube all the time because, I mean, that's my business. So, I'm not putting myself into it, but that's the example that I have. Like, I don't have a lawn care business. I don't have a, you know, clothing line yet, you know. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, that's the example that I use. So, it's like maybe if you have, like, a clothing line, right? Someone could be saying that your clothes are cheap or that, you know, they fall apart. They're not worth the money. But it's a, it's a lie because your shit is really, like, ace quality. But it's like they just want to steal the styles for themselves. Okay. What's deception? What is deception? Ooh, astral travel. So someone could be trying to affect your, your dreams or your sleep. Transformation. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like somebody is saying that you're not transformed. Okay. I feel like you guys are going through a transformation. Oh, yeah. Seeing through the fog. I feel like you're going to find out who this is that's doing this to you. Damn. Signs and symbolism. This is very spiritual. Stuck in the past and toxic family. So there's someone here who's lying about your business or lying about you. Like this could even be a personal lie, like a personal attack on you just because somebody sees you progressing 
um, financially. I feel like this could be a family member, you know, somebody who you possibly grew up with, who's stuck in the past. But I feel like they're trying to talk shit about your business or whatever it is that you're doing. I feel like you're going through a major spiritual transformation here. You're seeing a lot of signs and symbolism about this person. I feel like you know that this person is either trying to steal your joy by lying on you or they're literally trying to steal like your products or ideas, right? Catfish and growth. Wow. I'm also getting that while you're growing, someone else is acting as if they're growing too. I just get this vibe of somebody copying you. I know the card didn't come out, but someone is lying about their growth. Someone is acting like they're holier than thou, but really they're still stuck in the past, maybe with a toxic family member. I feel like they're acting as if they're doing so much better for themselves. This could be somebody who's asking you for a job. I feel like somebody's asking you for a job. They're saying, oh, I've changed. You know, I'm not this raggedy evil person that I used to be, but really they are still stuck in the past. And I feel like they're still dealing with some toxic people, but I feel like all they want to do if you hire them is steal from you. Either steal your time, your energy, your effort, or literally steal your products or ideas. What's the... Oh, shit. See, somebody's lying. Somebody stole something from you too on Thanksgiving. So if it was a situation where you had somebody in your family around you or you have somebody who you know is surrounded by toxic people, I feel like they're lying about something that they stole from you on Thanksgiving. Somebody took something from you. What else is theft? And they're not telling the truth about it. They're telling you, oh, I've changed and all this other stuff. I feel like they're still trying to come around. Blackmail, caution. What? So be careful if somebody try to sell you back your own shit. That's what I got too. Be careful if somebody tries to sell you back your own shit. They stole it on Thanksgiving and they lying about it. Leveling up is at the bottom. Desires is at the back. Somebody desires to level up. I feel like somebody is trying to like, not interrogate you, intimidate you. The, the, the words be getting jumbled up in my brain. I feel like someone is trying to intimidate you because they're trying to get ahead or they're trying to get ahead on you. What is ascending? Self-reflection. Yeah, I feel like you're realizing things about yourself, probably about who you've allowed in your life. Okay, yeah, that you maybe have been being childish, manifest and apologize. Okay. I don't, let me, breaking point. Let me get one more. What's one more for ascending, please? Can I get one more, please? Christmas. So somebody reached their breaking point on Christmas about a situation. I feel like this could be you. I feel like you guys are definitely ascending to a higher level. I feel like you were tired of dealing with whatever bullshit you was dealing with. You know, from your life or whatever. You was tired of dealing with that shit. I just saw 28, 28, so which is 10, 10, which is you wanted a new beginning. Okay. I feel like you definitely could have been... Okay, let me just let you know. I feel like some of you guys realized that you were manifesting some childish things, okay? I feel like you realized things about yourself. That's why you're ascending, right? Because none of us are perfect. None of us are angels. And if you're a motherfucking angel, I don't even know why you're watching me. But um, at the end of the day, none of us are perfect. And I feel like you realized some things that you were being very childish about. And you could have definitely manifested. Um, maybe you were trying to manifest someone to apologize to you. But maybe you did it in a childish way. Or you realized that, you know, what you were manifesting wasn't what you really wanted or something like that. I, I don't know. I'm just getting a vibe that. Maybe you were doing some negative manifestations. I'm going to just put it that way. I feel like maybe you were being a little bit childish and you were doing some negative manifestations. Want somebody to get theirs, you know, and, and you realize that you were being really childish and you're trying to, you know, fix that. Okay. We have projection and growth. 
So I feel like you realize that you were maybe projecting negative energy on someone else. That could have been it. But I feel like you're growing. That's the problem. I feel like you're growing from a situation or you're growing um, just from your life experiences. And you, I feel like you're trying to be a better person. What's ruined? And you may need to apologize to someone. Okay, cuffing season. What else is ruined? Arrested. So cuffing season, as y'all know, for me, that is anywhere between October to February, Halloween through Valentine's Day. So someone you may not know, they were arrested during cuffing season. Something was ruined. Okay, what else is ruined? I mean, you could have been arrested during that time. Maybe that's why you reached your breaking point. Okay, or that could be someone else that is ascending. I feel like this could be a backstory. And you were maybe dealing with someone that was lying about you or lying on you. And then it's like they realized that they were stuck in the past or dealing with toxic people in their lives. And they realized the error of their ways. I feel like they tried to maybe steal your joy or they tried to steal your energy and they act like they wasn't. It's like they was acting like they was on your side, but they really didn't give no fucks about you. And I feel like they were trying to get you caught up in some shit. Or you felt like they were trying to like use you for whatever reason. And now it's like whatever actions that you took maybe with your business and the fact that you're gaining, you know, a following or you're gaining patronage could and they see you moving in such a different direction that I feel like you may have prompted this person to move in a different direction. And I feel like maybe they reached their breaking point on Christmas. Okay, we also have humor. This person could have gotten arrested. They could have ruined their life or feel like their life was ruined. Okay, humor, new job. Addictions. What? Can I get one more? Leaving it behind. Wow. So someone here, I don't know if it's you or somebody else, but because I was getting that this could have been you too. Um, but I felt like this was somebody else the whole time. But I feel like this ascension part could have been you ascending. And then it's like, I felt like maybe you were causing somebody else to ascend as well. I feel like someone's either home or business has gotten ruined because they got arrested anywhere from October to February. I feel like they thought it was a joke, but then they realized they had to get a new job because of some type of addictions or something like that. I feel like somebody's addicted to pills here. Copycat. I told you. I told you. Somebody is trying to copy your swag. And that's what they're doing. And I feel like they're lying to you. You know, possibly about the fact that they stole, you know, one of your ideas or they stole some of your merchandise. They stole like a, a, a I was going to say a plug. Damn. They stole a plug from you. For me to say they stole the plug, they could have definitely tried to um, work out a deal like with one of your distributors or providers for themselves and like get an inside, you know, connection to whatever merchandise that you get. Like they trying to they trying to get with your plug so that they could be the plug so that they could try to copy you and take you out of business or some shit like that. Okay, so I'm just going to pull some cards. This some, this, these readings about to start be some old freestyle shit because I just fuck with the freestyles and I don't be want to stay on no fucking rhetoric, okay? What is going on with my collective CEOs and business owners? What are they going to be encountering in the near future? Let's ask that. What are my CEOs and business owners going to be encountering? What? Yes, the Wheel of Fortune, bitch -a. I feel like that's y'all on top of the wheel of fortune with your suit with your truth sword. And somebody squeezed up tight up in here. Look at this. I ain't never seen this shit. I feel like somebody is in a tight squeeze. Damn. So they must be in a bind or something. Somebody could be in a bind. They could have literally gotten arrested. Be paying probation and shit like that. But I feel like you're definitely moving forward. I feel like luck is about to turn around for you guys. What's going on in the near future for my collective? Damn. All these majors? I feel like you're about to have a major new opportunity, guys. 
first two cards out. What the fuck? Y'all are, I feel like y'all are about to get a major contract or you're about to have a major opportunity here to do something new or you're taking a major opportunity, okay, to do something new. I feel like you're, you're launching a new product. Um, you're starting, you know, a new segment or something like that. You could be opening up a new location as well. I feel like you could have moved. And, and, and maybe you're deciding to open up a new location in another city. What else is in the near future for my CEOs, business owners? Three of Wands. I feel like you're no longer waiting on something. You're not waiting on somebody. What else? What else is coming towards my CEOs, business owners? The Hierophant. Wow. So I feel like you're about to get a major contract. I feel like... Honestly, I do feel like this is connected to the nine to five edition because it's like you're not looking forward to going to work or something like that. I feel like you're just wanting to, you know, invest in your business. I feel like you're not looking forward to like answering to anybody, having a boss, anything like that. OK, because I feel like you feel trapped. I feel like you realize that's not what you want to do. I feel like you guys have realized that your happiness does not come from working for someone it comes from working for yourself and i feel like you guys are maybe quitting a job to be honest with you i feel like you guys are also no longer waiting on any relationship i feel like y'all have um the light switch has been turned on like y'all are in full business mode wow i just had fucking deja vu i had major deja vu that i told y'all that i had deja vu Bro, this shit has been weird, man. This shit has been weird. Like, I feel like y'all have been having deja vu. Let me tell you something. Southern Mystic was just on her channel, I think on one video, because she about the only person that I watch. I really don't watch a whole lot of these motherfuckers, to be honest. I definitely watch, um, what's her name? Jesus, Astro Queen. I definitely watch her, but... I was watching Southern Mystic the other day and she was talking like in her readings, one of her readings, she had picked up. Um, it's like she picked up this vibe that her viewers may feel as if they're in the matrix or see glitches and shit. Like, you know, you have deja vu or whatever. And it's like, you feel like you have deja vu, like you've been there before, but it feels like when you have that deja vu, sometimes it's like, damn, it's like you, it's like you're getting into the deja vu. And then it's like, damn, you catch up to whatever it is that you saw for yourself in like a personal premonition. It's like your, your body catches up to that. And it's like you merge lives or you merge timelines. And then it's like, you it, it, you lock it in and then boom, there you go. I feel like this is an opportunity that you guys aren't expecting with this three of wands. I feel like, first of all, yes, on surface level, I feel like you're not really looking forward to having a relationship. I feel like you're not waiting on anybody. You're not waiting on any type of relationship. I feel like you're not trying to have no boss or anything like that. You're trying to be the boss. But what I'm also saying is like, to me, three of wands is you expecting something, right? Three of wands, oh, I, I'm expecting, my ships are coming in. I'm expecting my ships to come in. I don't feel like you guys see this contract coming. This shit is unexpected. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like a lucky break, wheel of fortune, or your time has come to have a fresh start judgment. Or to do something new that you didn't expect to do. And it's going to be a contract. It's going to be something. It's going to be some type of um, institution. Okay. But I don't think it's like you working for them. I feel like I'm getting it's like you don't expect to give. You don't expect them to give you some type of contract. Let me clarify. Oh, shit. Nine of cups. Oh my God, I saw it upright. You are going to be happy about this. I feel like it's a wish. So if you've been going out for contracts or you've been like, you're, a, I'm getting model. I'm hearing model. I'm hearing model, actress, actor, singer, dancer. I know that's a lot. 
I'm hearing um, construction, landscaping. Wow. You about to have some real material gain though, bruh. What is the Wheel of Fortune? And you're not, it's so unexpected. It's like just your luck. Page of Swords. I feel like you feel this coming. I feel like you sense this coming. Okay, you guys. Wow, yes, the contract, the lovers. And the King of Swords. I feel like also right now, you love what you do, but I feel like you're about to progress and gain more knowledge. I feel like you guys definitely love what you do, so you're learning everything about it. It's like you're learning the ins and outs of the situation. I feel like you're trying to be very wise um, about whatever this is that you're doing. I feel like you're trying to be, you, you're a novice right now, or you may be like, uh, um, you know, beginner, intermediate level, but you're not an expert yet. I feel like you're trying to get to that expert level. Yeah. You want to grow. Yes. Yes. You want to grow. I feel like you also want to network with people. I feel like you want to grow your business that way as well. I feel like that is going to happen, but I don't, feel like this is something that you know about i feel like you may feel it energetically you may suspect this what is the king of swords damn it's something you manifest to see manifest the magician now this could be somebody who was childish and really looking at themselves and i feel like they see you manifesting and it's making them break the fuck down it's making them feel like shit yeah six of pentacles I feel like somebody could be, I'm not talking about a love relationship. I'm back to your business. I'm just saying that when I saw this magician, I felt like it went back to the manifestation. So this could be somebody that you're not waiting on that's watching you and they're going to come and apologize to you around Christmas time this year. That's what I'm getting. Now, what in the fuck? Y'all, I swear when I do readings, it'd be some crazy shit going on. So they could actually very well be calling you. I don't know who calling me. I don't know what that motherfucking number is. So they better leave a damn message. But I feel like you are manifesting balance as well. I feel like... It's like you know in your bones, Collective, that the work that you've been putting in spiritually and physically, it's about to take off. I feel like you know that the work that you've been putting in is about to balance out your situation. Something like that. It's like you got a sixth sense. Okay. I feel like you've been manifesting your money too. But I feel like high priestess at the back and the four of pentacles at the bottom. It's like you don't know that this is coming. I feel like you. I feel like. I feel like intuitively you feel it. But it's like you're trying to hold on until it comes. That's what I'm kind of getting. Yeah, see, the Ace of Wands, I feel like you're trying to save your money. You're trying to hold back and keep secrets about what it is that you're doing, okay, until this new opportunity comes. Can I get one more for the King of Swords? You hear them sirens too? Ten of Pentacles. Wow, from the 6 to the 10 on that ass. I feel like you about to go from asking for handouts to be, being the one giving out handouts. Like real shit. I feel it real strong in the energy, my G. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. What's this judgment card? What's judgment for my CEOs and business owners? Three of Pentacles, yes. I feel like you're going to get a new work opportunity. I feel like you're going to get a new contract. I feel like you're going to have a new opportunity because people see what you're doing. Seven of Cups, I feel like it's gonna. you're going to have a lot of options in work. I feel like you're going to have a lot of contracts. I feel like you're not even sure which one to take because there's so many. Yeah, wow, Four of Wands, definitely going to be able to work from home. But I feel like you're going to be very comfortable. I feel like you're going to be very comfortable financially because you're going to have a lot of choices when it comes to contracts, options. 
Okay, things that you can do. Who the fuck? Now my son is calling me. Wow, hold on. Hey, baby. Hello? Jeremiah. Now what in the fuck? I swear, y'all, I am not with the shit today. Oh, damn. I do need to call this person back. Now I know who it is. They left a voicemail. I guess I should answer the phone sometime, huh? It's all right. They'll be all right. I'll call their ass back. But I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of options when it comes to, honestly, I feel like this opportunity could even give y'all a lot of options when it comes to like home choices. What else is the judgment? I feel like you're going to make a decision. A good decision. Okay, yeah, to start something new. Page of Wands. Oh, 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 oh. Fool card. Star card. Yes, bitch. Star card and the fool card. Look at this. I feel like this is what you've hoped for. This is what you've dreamed for. I feel like this is what you've manifested. I feel like you guys definitely prayed for a new beginning. You could have definitely done it under the stars at nighttime. I feel like you could have been using water as well. It could have been under a full moon, but you could have been manifesting with water. I feel like you were manifesting with all of the elements though, really like earth, water, air, fire. But I feel like your intuition told you to travel towards your own stardom, towards your own recognition. Like, I feel like you were guided like with the star, the fool, and the judgment card, I feel like you were guided to do something or you were guided to say something or post something. Two of cups, five of cups. I just see a new prosperous beginning for you here. But I also see somebody's upset. There's somebody who you felt like was your soulmate or somebody who they felt like you were their soulmate. I feel like they just depressed and mad because now you big pimping on you big pimping on campus. Big big man or woman on campus, and now they look like booboo the fool, bozo the motherfucking clown. Oh well. Why is the three of wands reversed though? Why is the three of wands reversed? I just feel like it's you don't see this coming. Yeah, queen of pentacles, seven of swords. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a surprise to you or. I feel like you don't see this coming. I also feel like be careful when you get to this point collective because there's somebody. It could be an earth sign. It could be a Taurus. I feel like there's somebody here who wants to try to sneak back in. Like this person is sneaking towards, you know, you. I feel like this is you. I feel like you don't expect to be so secure and stable. But yeah, somebody's trying to sneak back in. I feel like somebody's trying to have, have an opportunity. Say that they love you. See, with this not a wands bullshit. Sirens is still motherfucking going. I don't know what's going on. I feel like somebody was on that ball head whole shit. They didn't appreciate you when they had you classic and they're gonna try to sneak back in because you got money don't do it tell you right now don't motherfucking do it and i feel like the sirens damn agree what else is the three of wands in reverse it's like you're feel, you're gonna feel like you're getting away with murder i just heard getting away with murder which leads me to believe that you could be an actor or an actress and i feel like you're getting some type of contract it could be a netflix series I just heard Iyanla Van Zant. Man, I don't know. But the temperance card here is Sagittarius energy. So I feel like somebody's actually waiting to see if you're going to get any money before they try to sneak back in. Who the fuck could be an Aries, maybe an Aquarius, Scorpio, or Gemini somewhere? Sagittarius out here, Aquarius out here, Mars energy again, Gemini out here. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of Aquarius, a lot of Gemini, and a lot of Aries. Scorpio as well. Could be a Sag too. 
getting a lot of that Taurus. Mm, not so much Libra, though. But I just feel like you're not expecting this to come along. And I feel like it's divinely timed. I feel like you're going to feel that you're getting away with something or you're feeling like you're just, you know, damn, sneaking off. Man, I just feel this energy of, of, of you being awestruck, like you're struck with this feeling of, damn, like I don't deserve this or I'm doing something I don't deserve. I feel like that's kind of why you got that pillar card because you do deserve it, okay? What else is this three of wands? Yeah, five of swords because you fought for it. You fought for this new opportunity and you put in the work. So you definitely deserve it. I knew I was getting that. It's like, I feel like you guys are not expecting this. So it's like, you feel unworthy. No, this is exactly what was meant to happen. Temperance. Okay. This is exactly what was meant to happen. Five of swords, ace of pentacles, 10 of wands. You put in the work, you put in the blood, sweat, and tears. You fought for this. It was all on you. I feel like you were the, the soul uh provider here or you were the sole solicitor or whatever this shit is you were the sole person and oh see and somebody trying to make you feel like you ain't gonna get your victory because because then the five of wands was after that you see what i'm saying no you fought for this victory and you about to defend it look at this you ain't playing with folks you is not playing with these bitches out here because they're gonna be doa dead on motherfucking arrival I don't promote no violence. I'm not talking about killing nobody, literally. I'm just saying, like, your growth is about to make somebody feel like they dead. They about to feel they about to feel so fucking stupid. That's really what I feel. What's this hierophant? Two of Cups. Told you. Somebody gonna want a relationship now. I told you. You ain't gonna see it coming. What else is this hierophant? Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody that walked away from you. They want to tell you why they walked away. Nine of Cups told you. They want to express their feelings, their little feelings and shit. I feel like you are going to be talking, though, about this contract. I feel like you don't expect this contract coming, but they're going to be like meetings and talks that you have. You actually might have to move, to be honest, with the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. I feel like you may have to move. Or you may have to leave something else behind. You may have to leave another job behind if you actually do like your job. Yeah, Six of Swords. Knew it. Okay. Yeah, Six of Cups. Damn. But I do feel like somebody from your past is also going to come back once you get this opportunity. Yeah, and you're going to block their ass. Good job. Good motherfucking job. Because they ass didn't want nothing anyway. They just wanted your damn money. And I also feel like everything that you worked for in the past, I feel like you may have to move for this new job opportunity, right? You may have to move. That's why you could be thinking about your son or your child. Because you could be going on a trip. You could be going overseas, over the water, Living in a place that's more natural for this new career. And it's like, I just feel like they're telling you like, hey, you know, if you want this, you're going to have to move to XYZ place. I'm getting like California. Or like Florida or something. It's like, they're telling you like, yeah, we want to give you this new contract. We love what you do. Conversing, blah, 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 two of cups. But we need you to we we need you to leave wherever you are. We really want you, Knight of Cups, but we need you to move. You could be moving back to your childhood home, like where you're from. You could you could honestly be moving to a place that you lived before. But I feel like you're going to do whatever you have to do because I feel like you remember the past um, and how hard you had to work for this. And I feel like you're going to defend your position no matter where they want you to go. Yeah, Chariot. I feel like you're going to end up moving. But I feel like you kind of don't want to, though. Four swords at the back. But I also feel like this could mean that you ain't going to tell nobody. I feel like you're just going to up and move to a new place. And that's what's going to cause this motherfucker to run in at the last minute. But you're going to block their ass. 
You're going to block their ass for sure. What's the advice moving forward for my collective who have businesses? What's their advice moving forward? Okay. Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Hmm. I almost burnt my cards. Damn. Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords. I feel like I feel like your advice is don't let things that have happened in the past with people who are immature make you angry. I feel like that's really your advice. I feel like don't dwell on anything from the past. Continue to move forward. That's the only way that you're going to get to this point. Yeah, ignore people. Four of swords, especially these motherfuckers out here. You might need to ignore a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but ignore these motherfuckers out here who ain't got your best interest at heart, who you played a thousand games with like y'all was in the MB motherfucking A. Leave the ass alone. Don't dwell on whatever happened because it's only going to push you back further back. It's only going to push you further back from your goals and dreams. Because there's several motherfuckers that I would like to show up at their door and just give them a nice, good backhand slap with the OJ leather glove on. I just saw 5-5-5-5. Five, 55-55. Five, 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 10-10, five, five. which is, again, a new beginning, like I said earlier. It's a whole bunch of motherfuckers that I'd like to go take the backhand slap to. But guess what? Is that going to help my business? No. Is that going to help me? No. It's probably going to put me in a worse predicament than I'm already in. So I'm not going to dwell on it. Fuck them. And that's what I feel like you're saying to yourself as well right now. So I'm just going to pull a few Zodiac sign cards. What are the most prevalent Zodiac signs associated with this reading? I did already tell y'all some of the signs. I'm really getting Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, maybe Gemini as well. What are the most prevalent signs? Scorpio, see? Mars and Scorpio, yep. And then Taurus. I said Taurus earlier. I don't feel like it's much so Libra, though. Okay, so we have Mars and Scorpio, Mars and Taurus, Sun and Aries. What did I tell you? This is somebody who's an Aries, Jupiter, and Pisces. What other signs could this be? Yep, Ascending Capricorn. So somebody could have a Capricorn rising. Sun and Libra. Oh, wow. I, didn't, I wouldn't have guessed that one. Libras always be playing them games. Ascending and Taurus. I'm saying Libras don't be playing them games, but I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. North Node and Pisces, Jupiter and Aries. Ascending and Libra again. Venus and Aries. Moon and Capricorn. Sun and Aquarius. Wow. So we got an Aquarius Sun, an Aries Sun, and a Libra Sun, right? Let me put the Sun cards up here. Then we got a moon in Capricorn. Moon in Capricorn, Jupiter in Pisces, Mars in Scorpio or Taurus, Venus in Aries, rising could be in Taurus or Libra or Capricorn, North Node in Pisces, Jupiter in Aries. So a really strong Aries, a really strong Libra, strong Pisces. Aquarius, strong Capricorn, strong Taurus, Scorpio, yep, and that's it. At the bottom, Mars and Aries, wow, this is a strong Aries, Moon and Aquarius. Ooh-wee, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I hope y'all enjoy this reading. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe as always. Stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed, and don't let none of these bitch-ass, stinking-ass, funky-ass motherfuckers out here in these streets. Steal your joy. Leave that bitch ass in the streets, okay? Love y'all. Bye.